Brasilia syndrome, also known as helicopter urbanism or birdshit architecture. It is a term introduced by John Gill to describe certain types of urban planning that became popular in the 1950s and is still in use. These developments look impressive from a bird's eye view but fail to function effectively and may be unwelcoming for those people who experience the cities at the ground level. John Gill feels that Brasilia syndrome most often occurs when the larger, more remote scale is emphasized while the smaller human scale is disregarded. Gill places some of the blames on two contemporary trends modernist architecture and the car culture mentality. Gill suggests that plans are created by those who are looking from high above and are dropped to the ground with no regard for those below. This vantage point from a helicopter, aeroplane or drone may be impressive but at ground level the layout fails to factor in distances and experiences for those who must live, work, walk and cycle through them. Gill is a Danish architect and an urban planner who has written about Brasilia syndrome based on observations he made while analyzing the human behaviors in cities. He noted that people prefer to collect around the edges of cities rather than gather in the open. In a series of studies, he gathered data to help him confirm his theory. The statistics reinforced his observations and found that cycle-friendly human-scale cities such as Copenhagen provides a completely different experiences for their inhabitants. By contrast, Brazilian syndrome cities such as Dubai fail from the perspective of those who experiences them as a pedestrian or a cyclist. These geometric car-centric plans are made up of buildings that lack details and are typically in straight monotonous lines. This may be optimal for motorized vehicles but it is unnatural for pedestrians or cyclists when compared to ancient cities like Rome where there are practically no straight lines. The poor public spaces is often discussed in terms of the negative effect of the modern idiom in which coherent urban fabric is replaced by buildings as objects which fails to define the space and results in a reduction in quality in what Gill calls life between the buildings. Instead, John Gill feels that cities should be designed where people, not cars or buildings, serves as the starting point for the sustainable living spaces. The capital of Brasilia was planned in the mid-1950s by Lucio Costa, Oscar Neyme and Joaquim Cardoza and was specifically designed as country's new capital. Before the city was established, the area resembled a desert. It was conceived as a practical utopia with Oscar Nehemiah's designing hundreds of buildings. There are several designated sectors, hotel sectors, banking sector and embassy sector and so on with a specific purposes. The architecture is predominantly modernist and the city was named as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in recognition of its architecture and urban planning. From the air, Brasilia is impressively designed in the shape of an eagle. The sector of white government building is situated at the eagle's head and the residential housing blocks are arranged in neighborhoods around the green areas and placed in the eagle's wings. While Brasilia has received accolades for its urban planning, it is not generally thought of as a successful arrangement by its residents. The scale is considered too spread out to be a practical. Pedestrian and cyclists reject walks that are too long, formal and monotonous. Instead, they opt to walk and cycle across the green areas, creating their own organic human-centric trails. Thank you. Thanks for watching. A gentle reminder, for those who have not subscribed our channel, please click the bell icon and subscribe. If you like our videos, please share with your friends. Thank you.